Have you ever felt completely paralyzed in a stressful situation, unable to think clearly, and perhaps even unable to move? So our human brain is wired in a way to keep us safe, to keep us surviving. And you've probably heard of the amygdala, which controls the fight-flight-freeze response. And this part of the brain is designed to make you move really quickly into a survival mode. And yes, freeze is a survival mode. So most mammals will first choose flight. When there is an immediate threat, most mammals will choose to flee. If they can't flee, they'll fight. But if they can't flee or fight, they'll freeze. So the freeze response happens in the face of the most significant danger and a danger that is overwhelming to the person, the animal, the being. And in extreme danger, the freeze response can be very helpful. The problem is that the freeze response can be triggered by all sorts of everyday situations, as well as by memories and by sensory information, sights, smells, sounds that remind us of the past. And in these situations where we are not in extreme danger, then the freeze response can be very problematic. 